Gotcha. You can't escape now. <gasps> This is Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. And that's something of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Just who she is, though, well, my memory holds no answers. Okay, hold on a second. All right, for one, I'm gonna go ahead and Close down this here, because I don't need to see it. Close the laptop. Maybe that'll free up some some of the internets. So that we're not getting... Oh, that's my crotch all up in the camera. A revolver cinnamon girl. I could be happy the rest of my life. With my... Okay. Yo, David, everything ship shake? Help me, fatty. I'm a little tired. Look at me. What do you think? I knew the answer. Just wondering if you did. <laughs> Forrest Kaysen, a detective with the Boston Police Department, and my former partner. He still helps me out nowadays in my search for D. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets whatever I need. Get that hand off there. So I guess I can't read those statements out loud. Women are always trouble. Doesn't matter how old they get. Trouble. I'm fighting with Diana again? <sighs> like you wouldn't believe. Women. Men don't stand a chance. Uh, don't come and see me. Actually means get right over here. But then leave me alone just means, well, leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please. <laughs> that first one's a good one because it's a play on who made the game. Coffee from a different place can be nice once in a while. Once in a while? All the time is more like it. Uh, I was a fool to ask you. So One spear is the mighty grizzly, detective among detectives. Now he's more like a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So I keep going. David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? That one? This one here? Access Gate Airways Flight 117, struck by unexplained lightning. Nose. No one's talking about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you this time. <sighs> Wee! Hello, everybody. Passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid flight. Does that sound possible to you? Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit, he's a courier who only carries real blood. <laughs> this one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. Evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. 
But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. So, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? Meow! The name of the boss he was going to give up? Apparently starts with the letter D. No. This courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. Wow, no. So, interested yet? Beep. Let me ask you again. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft. Sure, why not? Flight. Does that sound possible to you? No, it's impossible. There's someone pulling the strings behind this mystery. Right on the money, David. Lots of documents, evidence. We use the confusion to spirit the courier away. Lots of people want the evidence he was carrying after all. From the evidence I was able to bring, this particular item is the most interesting. Boop. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. Boop. Well? No doubt about it. This is a memento. Great. It's yours then. Let's hope it's the last one you'll ever need. I pet the cat woman. Hello, puppy dog. <sighs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to read this out loud. Let's try. Wait, what's this? Okay, well, that one's good. Okay. Bloody Marshall's badge, a piece of evidence related to the case of the vanishing courier. It belonged to the federal marshal Dirk Bucknan who was killed while transporting the courier in question. Using this should allow me to drive to an airport aboard which is... Wait. Using this should allow me to drive to an airport board... aboard which... Fuck. I'm not that drunk. Using this should allow me to drive to an airplane aboard which is D, the key to my wife's murder case. Bingo. Oh, a new character outfit for Amanda or from for me. Clothes can be changed in the bedroom. Can I push? I can push her. It smells like grass. <laughs> what happens if I grab her? What the fuck is this? Is this a store? Sure, why, what the hell, what the fuck not? fuck out of here quickly uh, she goes back to picking her toenails so if I go back to my bedroom uh, 
I now change my clothes. Whoop. That's a messy bed. Oh my! What the fuck? Okay, so there's either like this black cat outfit or this... Okay, whatever. What about ribbons? Yeah, sure. Shoes? Fuck yeah. Great. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, God bless. Hold on. so confused as to what's going on here. Ooh -ah. <sighs> My hair's in fucking mess now. Hold on. Much better than I. of World Cinema, the Keynes Film Festival. It's that time of year again, the Keynes Film Festival, which en entry will obtain the honor of the Palme d'Or this year. We'll be covering the nominated entries separately, but here let's take a look at the history of the festival. The Keynes Festival was established in 1939. Yep, okay. Apparently, my words change shit. Fuck reading this shit out loud now. I, I take it this guy likes hockey. I don't know what any of this does. What is any of this? No, it was sticking up at the top. My hair was sticking. No, I'm not changing controls. God fuck. <sighs> David, taking care of yourself is part of your job. What's up, David? Feeling hungry? Okay, good. Let's eat then. I know you too well. You probably have only been drinking alcohol. <laughs> Your badge says detective for a reason, Teddy. <laughs> Go get Amanda. The more the merrier at the dinner table. 